understand it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a f Hey guys, so for this video, I wanted to show you guys my most recent purchases clothing wise, and I want to start off with Sunny's. Are you guys ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ta-da! I don't know, you guys probably think that's so lame. This is from Ruby. This is the Mackenzie Cat Eye in the red. It does come in two other colors. It comes in black and tortoiseshell. I ended up getting it in the red because, I don't know, I just feel like it's different, it's cool. I don't have any red sunnies. I normally can't do plastic frames because of my bridge. I'm kind of cursed in that department because when you guys look at me from the side, you'll notice that my nose kind of dips in and then it kind of sticks out. So when I wear plastic frames, I don't really sit in the right spot. Or if you try to make them sit at the proper spot, it doesn't, there's not much air. I don't explain it. But anyways, my nose is not designed for plastic frames. Let's just put it as that. So normally I wouldn't go for something like this, especially the fact it's cat eye as well. I feel like cat eye does not suit me. I don't put them where they're meant to be. Because if I leave the sunglasses up here and you guys look at me, it's going to look pretty stupid. You guys are going to think, what the fuck, that looks awkward. But the magic is when I rest them here. Like, how cool is that? I don't know, you guys probably think it doesn't even look that good still. I feel like it looks really cool. I feel like it gives a vibe. I feel like I'm giving out a fantasy. It's kind of like a don't fucking touch me kind of look. I really like it. If you ever see me wearing this, yeah, don't talk to me. <laughs> that sounds so mean. I'm actually really nice. <laughs> uh, I, at least I like to think so. I also got the Stevie sunglasses in the black. It also comes in tortoiseshell and I think that's it. I don't think it comes in here. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. This one's in the black tint in category three, so it's not recommended for driving. The red ones are not recommended as well, because even though that's in category two, it is a red tint, so it's, it's just not appropriate. Once again, if I put it up here, it looks kind of weird, but the magic is when I put it lower, and that just looks so cool. This one's a little bit more friendly, a bit more approachable, but it's still kind of like, uh. I might say hi, we'll see how we go, you know, it's like that. There's a little bit of room to be nice, but I feel like with this one it's like, seriously, get out of my face. Well, they do have sun protection in them, just so you guys know, but once again, just not ideal for driving, so yeah, don't risk it for the biscuit. They do come in these little so they do come in these little soft pouches. I don't care that much because let's be real, I'm not gonna take really good care of these glasses anyway. You know, I'm not gonna wear them every day. They're definitely not an everyday look because not every day I don't want people to talk to me. Wait, did I say that right? I don't know. So the next item is a bag that I got from Pretty Little Thing. And ages ago, I did a poll on my Instagram of which color I should get. And a lot of you guys suggested the gray. I didn't listen and I ended up getting the red. So as you guys can see, I haven't worn it yet. The style is called the Burgundy Nylon Vest Bag One Size. It does come in the grey. I think it comes in like a neon green as well, I could be wrong. But I decided to get the red instead because it's a very bold colour. But two, I didn't like the choice of font that they had in the grey one. The red one doesn't have any font, but the grey does. And the font they use in the grey looks weird. This looks really cool with an oversized t-shirt or a hoodie or a sweatshirt or something like that. Definitely not a girly type of bag. Definitely has like a tomboy vibe to it. The only thing that sucks about it is the sizing of the pockets. I wish it was a bit more bigger. I mean, I can put my wallet in there and I can put my keys and stuff. But the main thing is your phone. And it doesn't fit your phone. Well, at least my phone. My phone's the iPhone 7, I think. I forgot. Oh, yeah, whatever. It's still practical in its own way, but I was just a little bit gutted that it wasn't big enough to fit your phone because that would make this the coolest bag. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you guys and get the grey, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sorry, not sorry, because I'm glad I got the red. So the next group of items are from Supre, and I ended up getting their party... Uh, shit. Party cami top? I could be wrong, but like, I'll put the proper name in the description so you guys can look it up later. But yeah, I got it in the red. I got it in this peachy color as well. Uh, this peachy nude color. And then I ended up getting it in this dusty pink as well. I already have a khaki version of it. I have a white, I have a black. I really like these party tops. They are so nice. They're very flattering. The material feels nice. I think most of my Instagram pictures I'm wearing this top. Yeah, that's probably the case. And to be honest, if you ever see me at a club, I'm most likely wearing these, so. I know they have like a cheetah print version, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do animal print. I don't think animal print looks nice. I feel like it looks kind of tacky, no offense guys. I kind of hope they make a blue version, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, really like that. Oh, and a gray would be nice too. 
So Prey, you better be watching. I want a grey version. I did get some backups that haven't been worn yet because I've been machine washing these ones for a very, very, very long time and then now they're starting to get fluff fluffs so I can only really get rid of it if I shave it with the right tools. I definitely hand wash them because they're not going to last long if you are going to machine wash them. Alright, so the last item is a bag that I got from Super Dry and oh my god, I absolutely love this bag so much. This is the Super Dry Sport tote. I don't know the name. Once again, it'll be in the description below. It's a little bit bigger than I would want, but it's still really cool because I love, uh, I love their compartments. That's why I really like super dry bags. I wouldn't have ever thought that this was a pocket. When I looked online, you couldn't even tell that was a pocket. I thought it was just like a design thing, but it's a pocket and it's kind of like low key. I don't know why this is here, but I mean, it looks cool, whatever. There's a pocket here and then there's like two, um, um, I don't know but there's that and then they have like a zip one up here I oh, love it it's so nice so when I wear it like that it does look kind of big because my my frame is quite small it just fits a lot in there and, and I love the inside how it's like you know it's black on the outside it's like, BAM it's orange like I love that like I don't even really like orange but I don't know I really like that yeah that is everything I want to show you guys today I did purchase more stuff but I want to keep these videos quite short so I'm only showing you the main things I'm most excited about so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and yeah take care of yourself and I'll see you guys later